This is a key to uh, the worksheet on rational expressions number seven, and it's extra number seven. Now, basically, in in these problems, you're given these these complex fractions, and you're asked to simplify each of these complex fractions, and there are four of them, by using method one. And method one, we call the division method. And so basically, see this first example? That would be what, what you want to write, number two, uh, and then number three, number four. Uh, number three and one are basically in that form where you can directly go to the division method. So basically, the division method involves this idea. So let me just kind of remind you. So, so in the division method, so this is method one. In the division method, you're basically going to rewrite your expressions to where you have one fraction divided by another fraction, something like this. Now, in, in, in our case, you're going to have variables involved, but, but this is an idea from a previous course that, that you learned about. So basically, you have one fraction divided by another fraction. Once you get to that point, then the division method says this. So then the division method says you're going to change this division to a multiplication problem. So you have the uh, rational expression that's in the numerator times the reciprocal of the rational expression that's in the denominator. And the reciprocal of 7 halves is 2 sevenths. And then you reduce if you can, and in this case you could. So you'd say 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and you get 3 times 1 is 3, and then 2 times 7 is 14. So that's the division method. That's the idea you're going to use. So when you do number 1, if you look at number 1, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite number 1 on another sheet of paper. So number 1, we have this. So this is number number 1. Okay, so number 1, we have 21 divided by 16x to the 4th. And that rational expression is being divided by 49 divided by 20x cubed. I want you to notice that it is already written in that form where you have a fraction divided by a fraction. Okay, a rational expression divided by a rational expression. So it's already in that form. So now you're going to change it to a multiplication problem. You're going to change it to a multiplication problem. And so you're going to rewrite the, uh, the uh, expression that's in the numerator like this. And then you're going to say times the reciprocal of the rational expression that's in the denominator. And so that's 20x cubed divided by 49. At that point, that's where you would reduce. So notice that these are all monomial factors. And so let's just look at the first monomial factor here, 21. So 21, I know I can I can reduce that with 49 because both of those have a common factor of 7. So 21 divided by 7 is 3. 49 divided by 7 is 7. Okay, let's look at the 20 now. 20 I know I can reduce with 16 because the greatest common factor of 20 and 16 is 4. So 20 divided by 4 is 5. 16 divided by 4 is 4. All right, now let's look at x cubed. So the idea of x cubed, I just want to remind you, the idea of x cubed and x to the fourth is this idea. So you have you have x cubed, I'm sorry, you have x cubed meaning x times x times x, and you have x to the fourth meaning x times x times x times x, right? And so you can reduce these common factors just like this. And so basically, you're going to have 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1, and then 1 times 1 times 1 times x, which is x. So you're going to have a factor of x that's in the denominator, and you're going to have a factor of 1 in the numerator. Now, what that means is this. That means, see, you have three factors of x up here, and you have four right here. That means all of these will divide into itself, so that's where that 1 comes in, and then you're left with one factor of, of x here. So as you had 4, Three of those will divide out with three that's up here, and you're left with one. So that's where that x factor comes in. And so it looks a little bit messy now. And so you're going to say, well, that's going to be now 3 times 5 times 1 is 15. And then 4 times x times 7 
is 28x. And so that's number number one. So number one is 15 divided by 28x. Okay, let's look at number two. Now, number two, if you look at it, if you look at the, the numerator, so let's look at the numerator for example. You see that numerator is not listed as one rational expression. You have two. You have 10 and then you have one over x. So what you got to do now, because remember you are asked to use method one here, so you must follow directions. So you have to go to the side now and kind of rewrite this as one rational expression. So that means, that means you're going to go up to the side and you're going to say, all right, I want to add one a 10 and 1 over x together. So you got to find the LCD and the LCD, remember this is 1 right here, so the LCD of 1 and x is x. So you're going to write two equivalent fractions with x as the denominator. So 10 divided by 1 is equivalent to what rational expression with x as the denominator? I have 1 here, I want x, so you can multiply uh, the denominator of x, and what you do to the denominator, you do to the numerator. So x times 10 is 10x. The denominators here are the same, so 1 over x is equivalent to itself. And so now I can write this as 1, just like over here, 1 rational expression. So you have 2 now, now you can write as 1 because the denominators are the same. So that's 10x plus 1 divided by x. That's what the numerator becomes. So that is what you must write the numerator as. So I have to see 10x plus 1 divided by x. All right. Now, you see, this is the work you did on paper. See, this is easy enough to where you could do this in your head. And, and if you did, that's fine. But I have to see this part. That part I have to see. Divided by, and then you do the same thing with the denominator. So in the denominator, you're going to have 10x, I'm sorry, 10 minus 1 over x. So you can do the same thing. So that's 10 over 1. The LCD is x. So you're going to write two equivalent fractions with x as the denominator. So for this one, you're going to say 1 times x is x, 10 times x is 10x. And then the denominator is the same here. So 1 over x is equivalent to itself. And so this becomes 10x minus 1 divided by x, and that is your denominator. So 10x minus 1 divided by x. Once you get it to this point, now you can use the idea of the division method. You're going to change this division to multiplication. So this becomes 10x plus 1 divided by x times the reciprocal, which is x divided by 10x minus 1. And then the only, you see, the, uh, 10x, min, uh, 10x plus 1 and 10x minus 1, you cannot factor. Now, that's, at this point, that's what you want to do, and you're going to see that in the next problem. But, but at this point, you cannot factor. But you can reduce the factors of x here, and so you must do that. And so the answer is just 10x plus 1 divided by 10x minus 1. All right. But notice this is the part you must show. So that is the work you have to show. Okay? All right, let's look at number 3. Number 3, we have this. Okay, so number three, uh, let's see, number three is, okay, all right, here's number three. Number three, we have, we have, um, we have four x minus 28 divided by x squared, that's x squared, minus 49, and that rational expression is being divided by x minus 7 divided by x plus 7. I want you to notice that that the 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 um, complex fraction you see here is already in that form where you have a, a rational expression divided by one rational expression. So you can go directly to changing this to to multiplication. So you're going to take the the uh, rational expressions in the numerator. So 4x minus 28 divided by x squared minus 49 times the reciprocal of the rational expressions in the denominator x plus 7 divided by x minus 7. At that point, you have to use the knowledge that you learned in previous lessons. So you notice you're multiplying two rational expressions. First thing you have to do is, is to factor. So in the numerator, I can factor out a 4. So it becomes 4 times x minus 7 
the denominator is a difference of two squares. So I must see x plus 7 times x minus 7. I must see that. So I must see that you are, that you are factoring. And now at this point, you're going to reduce. So the first factor you see in the numerator is a 4. There's no factor down here that, that uh, 4 can, can reduce with. The next factor is x minus 7. There's one here, there's one here. It does not matter which one I use. I'm going to go ahead and use this. Now remember, I keep telling you, you must show what factors are being reduced. So I have to see this little, this little uh, notation here. So you're left with a factor 1, you're left with a factor 1. The next factor is x plus 7. There's one here. You must show this. And so the answer then is just 4 times 1 times 1 is 4. 1 times 1 times x minus 7 is x minus 7. All right, and finally, number 4. Number 4, we have uh, 4 minus 5 divided by x minus 3. And that's being divided by 5 divided by x minus 3 plus 2. Now, again, you must follow the direction. Direction says use method 1. So in method 1, that's where you, you know, remember, you got to make the, the numerator one rational expression. You have to make the denominator one rational expression. Right now, you see two rational expressions, two rational expressions. So you got to go up and do some work. So, so let's look at the numerator. So I'm looking at the numerator for right now. In the numerator, I have 4 over 1 minus 5 over x minus 3. So you gotta, you got to subtract these two rational expressions. So you got to, before you, before you can write it as 1, remember you have to have the same denominator. So notice that I cannot factor x minus 3, and 1 is a monomial factor. And so the LCD then is just x minus 3. So I'm going to write two rational expressions with that denominator. All right, now listen carefully. 1 times x minus 3 will give me the denominator, but what I do to the denominator, I do uh, will give me the LCD, rather. And what I do to the denominator, I must do to the numerator. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4 times x minus 3, just like this. And then you're subtracting. Now notice that these, these that is a uh, 3, I'm so sorry. That's a 3 here. Okay, so notice that these denominators are already the same, so that means that 5 divided by x minus 3 is equivalent to itself. 4 divided by 1 is equivalent to 4 times x minus 3 divided by x minus 3. And remember, if you're not going to do this, but if you were to reduce, see these, these are common factors, you would get 4 left, right? Which is what this is. All right. Now, let's go ahead and distribute now. Because now you want to write this as one rational expression, but let's go ahead and distribute first. So I get 4x minus 12, 4 times 3 is 12, and then minus 5, all divided by x minus 3. So notice one rational expression. I went from 2 to 1 because now the denominators are the same. Combining like terms in the numerator, I get 4x minus 17 divided by x minus 3. And so that is your numerator. That's this. So that becomes 4x minus 17 divided by x minus 3. And then you do the same thing with the denominator. So the denominator, you'll do the same thing, just like you did this one. You'll do the same thing. So the denominator, we have this. We have 5 divided by x minus 3, that's a 3, plus 2. So the LCD is x minus 3. Now remember, you you need to factor, but but uh, the the x minus three, the x minus three, this polynomial, you can't factor any further, and that's and that's two over one, and so the LCD is x minus three. And now you're going to write equivalent fractions using x minus three. So x minus three, x minus three, those are the same. So five divided by x minus three is equivalent to itself. So the denominators are the same. The numerators must be the same. Here. I have a factor 1, I want x minus 3, so I know I've got to multiply this by x minus 3, because 1 times x minus 3 is x minus 3. But what I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator. So this, that's the x right here. So this becomes 2 times x minus 3. And now, um, I'm, I, uh, let's go ahead and distribute here first. So this becomes 5 divided by x minus 3, plus, and then 2x minus 6 divided by x minus 3. Now, since the denominators are the same, I can write this as one rational expression. So that becomes 5 plus 2x minus 6 divided by x minus 3. 
combining like terms, I just put those two together. Combining like terms, I get 2x minus 1. A 5 and negative 6 and negative 1. 2x minus 1 divided by x minus 3. And that is your denominator. So that goes here. So that's 2x minus 1 divided by x minus 3. So I must see this part. I must see going from here to here. Now the work is not difficult for you to do in your head. Uh, so so um, I really don't have to see this because that is easy enough to where you can do that in your head. Um, and then so now you're going to change this to a multiplica multiplication problem. So it's, you have your top, your, your rational expression in the numerator times, that's a minus 3 here, times, and then the reciprocal of the rational expression is in the denominator. And then notice the only, and then you would factor, but 4x minus 17 you cannot factor, 2x minus 1 you cannot factor, but the only, the only uh, factor that can reduce are the x minus 3s, and you get x minus 3s, x minus 3, so you get factors of 1s in their place. And so therefore the answer is 4x minus 17 times 1, is 4x minus 17, 1 times 2x minus 1 is 2x minus 1. And so that's your answer. So that is the key, guys, that is the key to, to uh, the worksheet called uh, Rational Expressions Extra Number 7.